Hi, this is Len, KD0RC. This is my pretty new Rigol DSA 815 with the tracking generator. And looking at the output of the tracking generator on my old Tektronix 2213 analog scope, uh, and you'll see I'm sweeping a 0 to 50 kilohertz signal, and the output of the tracking generator is not as precise as I might have expected. So as it gets up towards 50 kilohertz it gets better but look at this down near 1 to about 10, 9 or 10 kilohertz is a pretty crummy looking signal. It gets better and better as it goes up in frequency. Um, and then there's another anomaly that I'll show in just a minute at around 650 kilohertz. So not bad to use this tracking generator as a signal source. You just have to be aware that at certain places it's not a real clean signal. Okay, now we're sweeping from 600 to 700 kilohertz. And as it gets up towards 650 kilohertz, if you watch the top of the sine wave, it starts to deteriorate. There's some distortion there that's fairly severe in my eyes. Um, and then as you get closer and closer to 700 kilohertz, that starts to go away. Um, until I get a real digital oscilloscope soon here, uh, I'm not going to be able to tell you about the higher uh, frequencies and how well they do, but um, I don't know of any other anomalies like this just because I don't have the ability to, uh, to look at them. There's nothing else that I found between about 650 kilohertz and I don't know, roughly 100 megahertz that I can see with this scope. Uh, everything else looks like a pretty good sine wave, but I thought this was a strange, strange anomaly. So I don't think it reduces the usability of the DSA 815 much, if at all. But just to be aware, if you're doing any kind of precision work and expect a good sine wave at all frequencies, you don't necessarily get it. Certainly for the purpose it was intended, which is the tracking generator for the uh, spectrum analyzer, it of course works great for that.